All right, everyone, come on in, come on in. Welcome, welcome to the club. Thanks for joining us, all of us, because you're part of the cool kids on the internet. You're not sitting back watching stupid TikTok videos. You're watching the greatest toys, the coolest toys, and the coolest stuff on the internet, bar none. And today, I'm gonna bring you another spectacular toy. But before I do, get yourself comfortable, relax in that chair, Make sure the lumbar is cool. Make sure the screen is adjusted properly, whatever kind of screen it is. Make sure you have that nice, warm cup of coffee if it's morning. You're taking a, a whiff of that aroma and you're like, oh God, I gotta wake up. And it's just so nice to have that cup of coffee. <laughs> it is so refreshing. Not refreshing, it's a pick-me-up. A pick-me-up. But if it's in the afternoon or late, maybe you do need a refreshing drink. Maybe a uh, tropical smoothie or something like that. But whatever it is, whatever it is, get that mozzarella cheese stick <laughs> also in your other hand. Or something healthy like a carrot, like Bugs Bunny. And kick back because I'm going to show you one of the most valuable Horikawa toys you'll ever see. And I don't know how many on the internet, like I have actually another one of these with a reproduction box and reproduction containers, but this is an original container. I didn't even know that these containers were original, but now I'm convinced that they are. And now that we have the perfunctory duties out of the way, and also, by the way, if you're a lurker, right, or you're just browsing through, or you're just a toy fan, you know what? Do us all a favor and please subscribe because... Odyssey likes it, BitChute likes it, Rumble likes it, and of course, YouTube likes it. So now we can proceed. So I did a, a video of a forklift robot. I think it was a quick one. So we'll get into a little more deep dive. And when I say this has become the one of the most valuable horror cows, it could very well be. Could very well be. I think this one now is up to $4,000 in the original box with an original container. So let's start with this cool box. You have here the graphic industrial. You know, for a non-spacey, let me get the toy out of the way. For a non-spacey robot, it's still all robot because you know what? This is the most common function of a robot today is the automaton the drone work <laughs> i mean it's, that's the reality of the thing they're very rarely in space but they're often used to paint cars and move boxes you know go into amazon they don't look humanoid but they sur sure do have a awful lot of robots doing these kind of menial jobs so at some point with ai they'll replace all of us you know can you imagine robots making these videos They'll say, remember that wacky guy in the AI robot voice? Remember that wacky human? Now we are making videos. <laughs> Replaced by AI. AI robots. It won't even be... All you need is a software now. Like Skynet. Oh my God, we're almost there. So anyway, this toy was only $4.06. What a bargain. If you add a zero onto that and make it $4,060, well, that's what you'll find at Smith House Auction when they sold this. I think it was around 4000 bucks. Is that crazy or what? Crazy insane. So here's the side panel. It tells you... The forklift robot has automatic actions. He walks forward, he stops, he lifts up the containers and walks and stops again, discharges the containers, repeats the automatic action, all with these beautiful 2D C-cell batteries. Thank God they're not lithium because or else we'd be begging North Korea for even more lithium. And that shows you the positions. Assume the position. And here is more of the same graphic. Like I say, sometimes I mention a lot of times the cover graphic like here, it, they just shrink it down, put it in a little a little window and, and they utilize it again. You know, that's a cheap way out. And same with the side panel. So there's nothing wrong with that because this graphic is spectacular. Beautiful, looks like it's it's got kind of like the laziest brush stroked clouds <laughs> you'll ever see. But you know, it's still very cool. The robot is depicted very well. His machine is depicted very well. And you know what? That's what counts. And the logo here, 
SNH is there. This box could use a little TLC, but nothing terrible. It's all there and complete, and thank thankfully the graphics are in good shape. The one beef I always have with this robot, but before I get let me show you box number two. Here is an original package, and in the box, this is opened up and flattened. That's how they, they um, package it in with the robot. So with an original container box like this, you'll see a little more details. Um, with my other version, I do have a couple of the reproduction of these containers. So one day, if I get them side by side, we'll see how well. I think they were pretty well done. I, I'm pretty sure they were done by Toy Tent. And he does a pretty good job. But, you know, we'll see if there's any difference. Because I think, you know, obviously original graphics are very crisp. And I don't know how well that translated. So there's your container. And then the robot, like I was saying, my beef with these, and I love the yellow industrial look out below kind of striping on this construction zone area. The The only thing is this robot's face is completely hidden. <laughs> you know, I may have to pick up the camera just to kind of zoom in on the face and then I'll put it back down. But he's got a nice lithograph door, two D-cell batteries, your plastic switch there. He's got some litho on the legs. The plastic arms. The left arm's a little wonky. It looks seems like it slides off. But then the forklift here, it's chain driven. And what I'm telling you is it, it obscures his beautiful face. But like I said, I'm going to probably lift up the camera after and we'll see if we can uh, get a better view. See how loose the arm is over here? It's not as loose. Now, one thing, just so, you know, listen, I say your IQ goes up a bit, right, when you watch this, and I, I'm going to tell you, when I see something like this, right, you see that gap there? This tells me that this toy was likely opened at some point. When it's brand new, these things would be tight like that. If somebody worked on this before, you get this kind of separation, because it looks like they couldn't bend the tab down. That's one of the things. Here's, see this hole, by the way, if you don't know. And I'm not an expert like John at the Robot Hut, but I, I do know this much. You would stick your tool in that hole to bend the tab down once it's placed like this. So you need some kind of like hook to get in there and tab that thing down. So for whatever reason, they weren't able to get that corner. Now, could it be like from that, uh, like that from the factory? It's possible, but I don't think so. Anyway, let's turn him on, make sure he works, and then I'm gonna take the camera. I may take the, pick the camera up just to, if he walks away. Well, he's not dumping the load, which is pretty good. I don't have to pick it up. Well, there's his lazy arm. what I tell you? Boy, get what you pay for today. I'm going to stop it and see if I can... Nope, i got to get, get the... Uh... Yeah, well, I'll back them up. Let's go back here and... Let's get that arm back in. So... Now, this doesn't, this only goes up this way, so I don't see where it would actually dump the cargo. We'll try one more time. Let me just get his face this way. There's his lovely face, and the nose is molded right in. See it straining on that chain? That's why I don't want to run it too long. All right, that's enough of that. That's enough of that, because who knows what can happen. There, now I guess he decided to dump the cargo after all. Anyway, my friends, that is your very rare, very desirable, very expensive, and probably 
one of the top three most valuable, if not number one, certainly top three valuable Horikawa robots, the forklift robot. Let me know what you think of this cool cat. If you like it, thumb up the video. If you don't like it, thumb up the video. Also, if you like it, subscribe. And if you don't like it, subscribe. Leave a remark and I tend to respond. And uh, with that, I appreciate your time greatly. Old subscribers, new subscribers, whatever platform you're watching this on, Odyssey, the nine of you, <laughs> BitChute, the near 50 of you, uh, Rumble, the 30 of you, and uh, YouTube, the nearly 700 of you. So thank you very much for your time. Greatly, greatly appreciate it again. And uh, with that, I will talk to you later.